Hello everyone, Elite Clockwoman here. Episode 30 has finally been released and our beloved Clock Titan has returned to the series. And I can't even express in words how happy I am about this event. And I'm also glad that everything is okay with TV man and cameraman. And we have a lot to talk about. And in this video, you will learn all the abilities of the Clock Titan. You will also find out whether the Counter Titan survived or not. And also what will happen next and many other interesting details. But before we get into all this, Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're glad that Clock Titan is back. And here we go. At the beginning of the episode, the Counter Titan breaks through the armor of the TV man, and I thought that it was at that moment that the Clock Titan would appear. But it seems that the cameraman gathered his strength and turned on the berserk mode, and with the help of a jetpack went to Ram to save his friend and began to beat this monster. And I didn't even notice how the Titans ended up in the air, and Counter Titan never ceases to amaze me, because he had a flying skateboard, and a similar skate was in the Green Goblin from the movie Spider-Man, and I liked this little reference. The Titans began to exchange punches, and Cameraman even began to dominate, and with the help of his gravity gun, grabbed the Counter Titan and landed it on the ground. And while TV Man was gathering his strength, Blood Cameraman literally bombarded this goblin with punches. But at one moment, the goblin stopped him and then pierced his stomach. And oh my god, at that moment I was so scared for Cameraman, but we know that he is a strong guy and he always will be able to withstand. But this madman hit the same weak spot again and again until the Cameraman threw him aside. And the TV man's blade appeared from the smoke and cut off the head of this monster. And I'm not gonna lie, I was sure that he was finished, but Dom Studio was able to surprise us since this crazy man rose from the ground and as if nothing had happened, he put his head back in place. Bro, are you serious? How to defeat this dude? I'm shocked. After he returned his head, it already seemed that the Titans had no chance, and TV man with the last of his strength asked the cameraman to take his sword. But we were shown the Alpha, who again started yapping about the fact that this is an epic failure for the Titans, and so they would die since they need to conquer the Earth. Oh, what an epic fail. Hmm. I'm impressed. Now can you die? We've got an Earth to conquer. And Bro Cameraman was ready for the final battle, but suddenly, the chest of the Counter Titan was pierced with a sword. And I want to note how perfectly Dom Studio set up the music while the Clock Titan pierced through this monster. It's perfect. And pay attention to what a cool design the Clock Titan sword is made in. And it's clear that the Dom Studio team worked very hard on the design of absolutely all the details, and that's insane. And the Clock Titan lifted that garbage into the air to show who the daddy is. And already in this frame, we, we can notice that daddy's core has changed, and a lot of gears have appeared around. And then we were shown the Alpha's face, and I can't stop laughing. Surprise, motherfucker! Sorry about swearing but you have no idea how long I've been waiting for this moment. It's, it's pretty difficult to put into words how disgusted I am, how depressed I am. And then we saw the Clock Titan in all its beauty, and look how huge it is now. We can also see different types of clocks from below, and also on his hand, there are four small guns, and in general, a bunch of different small parts. And he decided not to dirty his sword and threw this garbage on the ground. And oh my god, he is perfect! You can also notice that with a wave of his sword, he releases crazy energy. But suddenly, the Alpha began to cry and ordered the Counter Titan to turn on his Rage mod. But we already know very well that nothing will help them. But still, the Titan turned on his Rage mod and began to destroy buildings. Bro, you need to attack the Clock Titan and not destroy buildings. And it came to him in a few seconds, and he went to Ram. And at this moment, the Alpha began to laugh. But it looked like she had gone crazy since she must understand that if the Clock Titan knocked out her Titan with one blow, then they have no chance of winning. And if I were her, I would try to somehow escape. But in any case, the Clock Titan would have stopped time and killed them. And while she was yapping, the Clock Titan appeared behind her. And at that time, the Counter Titan was fighting the air. And I was very surprised by the fact that we didn't see how Titan Clock moves, even when he pierced the core of the Counter Titan. No one noticed how he appeared from behind. It seems that he can use a teleport, or he somehow stops time that we cannot even notice, or he has his own pocket dimension through which he may move. Actually, at this point, I have no idea. Hopefully, this secret will be revealed to us in the future. And the Clock Titan only had to wave his head as the Counter Titan was cut into small pieces. And that's crazy! What kind of ability is this? Clock Titan didn't even move from his place, 
He just nodded his head to cut this monster into pieces. And I don't even understand how this happened, but this is clearly a trick from some anime. Also in the Naruto, there was a character who could create copies of himself, and only he could see them, and at this time they could cause damage to someone. Maybe it's something like that, but I'm not sure. But I'll ask Dom Studio about this, and we'll definitely talk about it in the next video. But also write your theories in the comments. And after he cut the counter titan into pieces, he dealt the final blow to the core. And at that time, the cameraman launched a projectile at the Alpha. But in some amazing way, she was able to survive it, but ended up in the hand of the clock titan. Also, if you look closely to his core, we see yellow energy moving there. And it seems that this is precisely his weak point, just like all titans except counter titan because it turns out that he survived. But we'll talk about that a little later. And then the Alpha started yapping again, and said that her master will make him pay for it, and that Clock Titan doesn't know who he's messing with. But I think that Alpha and her master don't know who they're messing with. And I'll wait for Clock Titan to kick that master's ass the same way like the Alpha. And then we see an epic moment as the spirit of Chief Clockman appeared, and also the spirits of other deceased drillmen. And usually in movies or anime, when an evil character dies, he sees that his rival is never alone. I mean, he is alone, but everyone he knew and loved always in his heart and will always help him. And I'm not gonna lie, I got goosebumps. This is a masterpiece. And I'm very glad that the Dom Studio team is well-versed in anime and movies. And it is clear that the Alpha is shocked by this because in fact, she is fighting alone. And believe me, those who fight only alone will always lose. Although she has some kind of master, it seems that he does not care about her since he left her to die. We also see many drillmen whom she killed, and finally the clock titan finished with this crazy witch, and we will never see her again, and I'm very glad. But then the TV man showed thumbs up, and his life faded away. But as I expected, clock titan used his ability to return it back, and there weren't even scratches left on it, and I'm very happy. And TV man couldn't even believe that he was okay, since it's really a miracle. But the battle was not over yet, as Counter Titan's balls rose into the air and they began to turn into Titan weapons that Counter Titan managed to copy. And I'm shocked that he even managed to copy Clock Titan's sword. But Clock Titan was ready for this, and with the help of his crazy energy stopped time, the energy in his core also stopped, and I can assume when the Clock Titan stops time, he loses part of his power. And then he shows his trick with invisible blows, but now we already see this, since first he leaves it in the air, and then with another swing of his sword, he sends it at his enemies. And it seems that my theory that when he stops time he loses some of his power is plausible, because we didn't even notice how he cut the counter titan, and now he needed to make several movements. But perhaps Dom Studio just wanted to show us how this ability works, but still, I don't understand why then he only needed to nod his head. But now he needed to make more movements, maybe he was a little tired. Anyways, we'll know more about this soon. And after he destroyed the remains of the counter titan, TV man's watch suddenly broke, and we know that they protect against the abilities of the clock race. And this is a very important detail, because the energy of the clock titan is so strong that even this watch cannot save him from his attacks. And it seems that this it was specially done to fight against Skibidi toilets, since they can get these watches. But now, the clock titan doesn't care about that, and absolutely nothing can stop him at least for several seasons, because I'm sure there will be some kind of plot twist that even he could somehow be harmed. But time will tell. But we were also shown Big Ben for a second, but I don't really understand why. Perhaps by doing this, Dom Studio wants to tell us that this is the source of power of the Clock Titan. But who knows? And TV Man said that it's boring here, and then teleported somewhere. Bro, you literally died. And you're lucky that you came back again. Were you bored? I'm very funny because of this but he's probably bored with Clock Titan since he'll kill everyone with one hit. And this is cheating. And Clock Titan even helped Cameraman and restored his gun. And then the guys exchanged gestures, and Cameraman flew off about his business. And Clock Titan looked at the partially destroyed Big Ben and also flew off somewhere. This clock showed us the time 4.43, but so far it's difficult to say what it means and whether it means anything at all. And then the scene changed to night. And by the way, the clock shows the same time, but I'm not surprised at this since it's broken and stopped. And we saw some kind of spider crawl out of the body of the Counter Titan. And it looks like this is a hint that the Counter Titan is not finished yet. And this is very bad for the Alliance, because if someone can distract the Clock Titan, then the Counter Titan will be able to cause serious damage to the agents. Anyways, at the moment we have seen the Clock Titan, and he is clearly the most powerful character in the universe, 
The Alpha also died, but some master remained, and it is not clear how strong he is. And at the moment the agents are trying to free the Drill Woman and also stop the G-Man Apocalypse Project. So probably in the next episodes, they will do just that. This episode was the best of all for me, and I hope for you too. And if you enjoyed watching it, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so as not to miss new videos. Elite Clockwoman out.